Singapore residential properties, buy now or buy later? Let's find out. There's difference for HDB, condo, should we buy now or buy later? Let's find out. Yeah, let's discuss it through. When it comes to HDB resale properties, mm. right, my take is definitely buy later. I think I would definitely agree to that because I think today the HDB prices are all-time high. And if you're buying HDB at all-time high, you can only expect it to come down. All right? I think, I think what, that being said, once again, I think that keeping HDB affordable is a good move by Singapore government. All right? But the key here is that if you want to buy a HDB at high, and then I think the upside is very little. So you have more downside as common upside, given it's the, the depreciation of it plus valuation control of HDB. Right, and because of that, I think it's better to just wait it out a little bit and buy later when the market cools down just a little bit. I think you're exactly right. Well, the context is that because of the whole COVID pandemic, right, construction slowed down. Mm. Because of this, right, collection of keys for HDB slowed down. And yep. hence, right, couples or, or families that want to like move into HDB fast have to go for the resale HDB. But I think now and moving forward, right, more and more BTOs will come online. Yes. And this will ease the supply crunch. Exactly. Yeah. So I would say definitely buy later. So what do you think are the properties that should be buying now? Um, if I were to put a thought into this, I think that there is still a lot of opportunity in the resale one bidder condo space um, because new launches are all selling at above one million. I think there's a lot of resale even just opposite that new launch is selling at eight hundred thousand. All right, at potentially even a better location. So I think these are opportunities in terms of, of price gap. That means there's a huge price difference between the resale versus the new one. So, so what you're trying to say, right, is that in terms of a uh, one bedroom, right, mm. the for, re for the resale market, in terms of affordability, it's like 800,000 yeah. for the one bedroom. Yeah. And if, for, if you're trying to buy a new launch, one, bedroom, one over a million. One over a million. Yeah. And with the new rulings like the TDSR is like dropped from like 60% to 55%, right? Yeah. This means that people, right, they want to invest can only buy a lower yes, quantum. Lower quantum, exactly. The same amount of income. Mm. Yeah, therefore, I think now is a good opportunity to still buy the one bedroom condos itself. Now, if I were to put a little bit more thought into it as well, I think. Given the fact that now there is an increasing demand for bigger space, especially in Singapore, I would put, hey, perhaps, how about looking at five bedrooms? Do you think it's a little bit of opportunity today? Well, I think, yes, the, the whole reason is that once again, because of the pandemic, right, or the, the whole COVID situation, right, everyone's mindset has changed. Mm. We want a bigger space. space yeah. yeah, And the whole reason is that uh, if the next time I get locked down, I'd rather be living like a king in the, in, in the, in the sense that I have more space um, and not really like a king la, so that like our children have a place that they can like work from home. Mm. Imagine today if I am a, a husband and wife, a couple right, with three kids right, I actually need five rooms eh, so each of us can be one like, room each right yeah, yeah. working from home eh, and that is like a pure reason why you need a five bed room yeah actually if you think about it as basically things get more expensive I'll, we'll probably start seeing more uh, multi-generation coming in together to afford a bigger place so for example I mean parents plus kids all right, or even potentially three generation grandparents parents and then kids coming in to perhaps stay in a four bedroom or five bedroom, right? So that you can really combine resources to afford something bigger, better, and more comfortable. Mm. So I think that would likely be a nice trend moving forward. And and of course, before the prices will shoot up so crazily once again, right? I think the four bedrooms and five bedrooms is something to really look out for, especially if you're able to get it at a good price point. Mm. Yeah, so then if you look at it once again, let's go back a little bit now to HGB point of view, right? I think we know that we have heard so much on the, on the ground that BTO now this is very tough to get. Mm. Yeah, of course, without delays and things like that, right? So I would also put that in the category of buy now if you can actually acquire a BTO for whatever reason. I totally 100% agree. Uh, the whole reason is that uh, when we are talking about BTOs, right, it's actually well subsidized by our Singapore mm. government, right? Mm. So that uh, our families in Singapore can afford to buy it and start their family. Exactly, yeah. And let's take a look also at New launch, right? A lot of people keep asking us about new launch, new launch, new launch, right? Right. So I mean, there are a new lot- New launch in the private market? Yeah, private market, right? And, and there are so many new launches coming out in the OCR region. So obviously we have quite a few new launch coming out in probably Lentor, in Amokyo, in the, probably in the, in the Upper Bukit Timah, the Farm area, right? And so on. So, so there are more coming up. And these are considered the OCR region. That means mm. outside the, the most outer city, mm. in the, in the So what's your thought? Do you think 
should buy now or buy later for those? Well, personally for me, right, I find that uh, when it comes to talking about OCR mm. new launch or ASEAN new launch, right, I find an even better, better opportunity in the CCR resale. And one of the reasons, right, is because I'm vested over there <laughs> uh, and I don't see the, the price increase, right, right. to be sufficient right. Right, in the CCR region. Uh. So I think I'm talking with a vested interest like, in the sense mm-hmm. that I think that the price point of like CCR, OCR and RCR are too close. Yeah. And this means right, it doesn't make sense like as a as a as a someone, right, maybe like I'm like that is trying to rent a property. Mm. Of course I will want to rent nearer to the city center. Right, like right, easier yeah. access to everything, right? Yeah. And if the price is the same, that's a no-brainer to go for CCR. Mm, that's so, true. So in other words, right, by right, uh, the rental in the CCR area should be higher. Yeah. And by right, uh, the price should be higher also. Yeah. So, so I, I mean, we'll probably put a more towards a more uh, reservation mm. when it comes to the OCR, especially if they are going to market it out at near to 2,000 PSF. Mm. Yeah, so for those, maybe, I will put it under buy later, right? Mm. Just ready to see where the market is really going towards before we really jump into this 2000 PSF OCR projects. <laughs> yeah, so 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 hope that you guys got a little bit clarity mm. in terms of which you should buy now and buy later. All right, of course, then we'll see you guys next week again. Bye.